Hi and welcome, my name is Gershwin and in this video we're going to look at the differences between a regular old card meter and a metro prepaid sub meter and let's see what are the pros and cons of using them and which meter would you choose as the landlord. So let's get into the video. So the first meter we're going to look at is going to be the electro card meter. Now these meters has been around for some time now. They come with a pack of cards that the landlord has to sell to the tenants. So that means the landlord has to be on the property or close to the property or maybe instruct somebody to actually be on the property to sell these cards to the tenant. The tenant can buy these cards for a tenner or a fiver and um, they'll have the card and insert it into the meter and that's how the meter gets stopped up with credit. But it's just inconvenient for the landlord because the landlord can't go on a holiday without getting somebody to actually sell these cards um, to the tenants. Another problem that arises with these meters is that a tenant can actually buy a master card where they don't have to buy a card from the landlord. They'll buy a card online and they'll actually bypass the, the, the landlord completely and they'll have a master card that never runs out of credit. So they might be pay, pay like a tenner for it and they'll never run out of credit, but the landlord still has to pay his main utility bill. So that's one of these problems with these types of meters. They are affordable and they are available, I think, at any electrical wholesaler that you can actually buy them um, from. But now the second meter that we're going to talk about, and let me get the meter quickly for you. So the second meter is actually my favorite meter, and this is called a Metro prepaid sub meter. So this meter comes with its own electricity meter card. And with this card, the tenant can now buy their own electricity from any pay point outlet or even online. So they can buy it from Sainsbury's, Co-op, Tesco, wherever they see the pay point logo. They'll get a 20 digit token that they'll have to key into the meter and that will top up um, their meter with credit. So the landlord doesn't need to sell cards anymore. The landlord is taken out of the equation. The landlord would sit back and every time the tenant buys electricity, Metro people collects that money and they'll reimburse the landlord at the end of the month so that he can pay his main utility bill. So this is a quite cool meter. The meter also comes with something called a temper mode. So in other words, if a tenant tries to temper with these meters and take off the cover, the meter goes into what Metro calls a temper mode, where there'll be electricity on the meter, but not supplied out to your plugs, your lights or appliances. So in other words, the tenant won't have any electricity um, that they can use once the, the, this cover is taken off. Even if they put the cover back on, they'll still have no electricity. So in that case, a landlord has to call Metro Prepaid on their call center number um, and ask for a temper code. Once the landlord um, receives the temper code, the landlord can then key the temper code in and it will unlock the meter again to work. So that is something cool. It's a safety feature um, with these meters. And another way that Metro can actually pick up or the landlord can pick up if a meter was bypassed is through the reporting. Metro sends a report every month to the landlord so where the landlord then can actually see how much this person has used, how much this tenant has, has used and they can actually see what Metro is going to pay him back at the end of the month. So I'll, I'll, put, a, I'll put a screenshot on the screen of a report um, that you can see what a report looks like. But these are the two meters and these are the differences between the card meter and the Metro prepaid meter. The Metro prepaid meter are available from any electrical wholesaler. You can just ask them for a Metro prepaid meter and it costs around about 40 pound um, per meter. So this is a single phase meter. It goes up to 80 amp. The card meter was a 100 amp meter, but you only need about 80 amp um, if, if you're using a single phase. They also have three phase available and you can order that also from your electrical wholesaler. Thank you for so much for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful. Please hit the like button, subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified every single time we upload a video. Until next time, goodbye.